Hi, I'm Jared with MVAC Systems. Today we're going to talk about the MVAC system, its different components, and how to set it up properly. You will probably notice that I'm not wearing any kind of protective equipment. The primary reason for that is because there's so many different protocols and, and different methods of doing it, different choices of equipment, that we've chosen just to show you the MVAC system and not worry about that part. That's, you're, that's where you're the experts. So there's five primary components to the MVAC system. The first is the support equipment case, or SEC, which is right here. This houses the vacuum uh, pump as well as the solution delivery system. The second is the MVAC, which is the actual collection device. This is what touches all of the, the DNA evidence and actually collects the, uh, the DNA material into the solution bottle, and we'll show you that later. The third is the solution bag. This is the liquid that is sprayed down onto the surface, which enables the, the DNA material to uh, be uh, vacuumed up. The next is this extension tubing. This is what connects the MVAC and uh, provides the vacuum flow as well as the solution out to the MVAC. And the, the last is the filter apparatus, which is used to concentrate the sample. So in assembling the MVAC system in order to be ready to take a sample, the first thing you want to do is grab the solution bag. That's this here. It's in this overwrapping, and both the solution and the tubing is, has the same style of overwrapping. And if you'll notice here at the top, it has a little notch in it, and it, that makes it easy to uh, open it up. All you have to do is simply tear it. From there, you pull the, uh, pull the solution bag out of the overwrapping, and hang it onto the door of the, uh, the support equipment case. You open the door such, and there's a little notch on the top of the door, and you just hang the bag here. Before the extension tubing can be connected to the solution bag, this small protective cap needs to be removed, and that exposes the septum that's underneath there. These instructions are also directly on the bag, in case you need to um, re review. The way you do it is you simply uh, push it to the side, uh, such. Again, that exposes this septum here at the bottom, and that is where the, uh, the end of the extension tubing will ins insert. In connecting the extension tubing to the system and the bag, there's two points of sterility that needs to be noted here. The first is this cap. And if you can see inside of there, there's a, a spike inside of this cap right here. And that connects into, it actually penetrates the septum of the solution bag. That's the first point of sterility. Your second point of sterility is right here. And this is the solution line that actually connects to the MVAC. In connecting the extension tubing to the SEC and to the solution bag, uh, you follow these steps. First of all, you take uh, this fitting here. It fits into the quick connect of the SEC. Give that a little tug and make sure it's secure. And the second is you're going to connect this cap, and again with the spike in there that's going to penetrate the, the septum of uh, the, the solution bag. And that is connected by grabbing the end of the solution bag and, and grabbing the fitting as such. In connecting the solution line to the bag, there's two threads in here, and there's a small groove on uh, the outside of the solution bag, and there's small uh, two knobs in there that are basically lined up inside of those threads. You line these threads up, and then you, you turn it. it. It should be just light pressure. It should be able to do it. Um, and you turn to the uh, clockwise direction at the same time, applying uh, light pressure forward that should connect the two. And it, this is how it happens. That's connected. Once that's all connected, you simply need to close the door and, and pressurize the solution. There's a small notch here on the door. Make sure the stem of the solution bag is inside of that. And you push against the bladder that's uh, behind the bag and close the door and make sure it's secure. OK, we're now ready to connect the actual MVAC to the extension tubing. So the first thing you need to do is open up these handles so it's uh, ready to receive the MVAC and then tighten that down. We, we prefer the, a 90 degree angle between the MVAC holder and the sampling head holder. Then you grab your MVAC, uh, the MVAC device. You open up simply by grabbing uh, the different ends of the, uh, the wrapping and pull. Now it's ready to be pulled out. Now it's also important to note that there's a cap inside the bag 
and the cap needs to stay inside the bag to uh, maintain its sterility. Put that to the side. Now the MVAC is shipped. There's two things you need to do uh, uh, when you first open a brand new MVAC. The first is um, open it up, kind of stretch it out, uh, and then realize that the sampling head ships open so that the, uh, the solution is actually uh, engaged here. The first thing you do is you pull that back and that shuts off the, uh, the solution. And then that sampling head can be placed in the sampling head holder. The next thing is to um, tighten the MVAC and the way you do that is you grab this top ring and you grab the very top of the MVAC and you, you'll notice that it's, it's a little loose. You tighten that down by turning it clockwise and then we found that uh, if you loosen it again and re-tighten it that all the inner parts of the MVAC will uh, seat properly and you'll get a better seal. At this junction also realize that there's another point of sterility that is uh, the end of this uh, solution line and then the last point of sterility of course is the uh, the front uh, or the, the end of the sampling head which is where uh, actually comes in, con uh, comes in uh, contact with the evidence. So you put the uh, sampling head there in its holder, uh, put the MVAC system so it's seated down into there, in, into the, the holder there. You take the ends of the extension tubing and tie those two together. Now give it a little tug to make sure it's secure and then you place the vacuum hose onto the end of the MVAC and it just goes slightly over the barb. You don't need to push it all the way on or it's uh, really difficult to remove. So now that we've got everything set up, we're ready to power the system up. So of course you need to actually have it plugged in. The second thing is you push the power button on. You should hear a, a fan, which is internal to the SEC. That's designed to cool the, the system as if, if you're in hot temperatures. The next, next uh, step is to pressurize the solution. And you'll uh, see underneath the bag, there's a, there's a bladder that's expanding. And that'll, that'll expand it and push it against this door. That's why I need to make sure the door is closed securely. This light here will stay on until it's pressurized to the point where uh, it'll be a constant flow of 15 PSI uh, out the end of the, the MVAC system. Once that light goes off, as you can see, then uh, we're ready to take a sample. So you uh, remove the sampling head from its holder, and uh, if, if you're doing evidence that's close to the MVAC system, you can just leave it right there in its, um, in its holder there. Uh, and then you turn the power on here, and we're ready to take a sample. Now you should hear uh, the, the air rushing into the end of the MVAC, but if you hear a, a, a loud whistle coming out of anywhere uh, inside of the MVAC, um, that means that it's not quite tight. And so you just give it a little, tighten it up a little bit, and then we're ready to sample. And the sampling is a, a, a simple process. You simply uh, put the sampling head onto the evidence where you're gonna be collecting uh, uh, the DNA material and you push the solution knob forward and solution begins coming out and now you're sampling. <laughs>